All right, I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit the text on your uh, street sign system. So street sign pack. Basically, you're going to get a download and a UV. This UV is basically how you edit the text. So go ahead, click on this, right click, save image. And then I recommend keeping it this name. Otherwise, it might end up not as a PNG. It has to be a PNG or so to edit it. Anyways, just save it and then download this. Make sure to do that. So then um, let's go head over to Roblox Studio. I recommend opening uh, a new ta a new uh, base plate because my models, if you go to model and then model and open up your street sign pack, it's going to spawn a zero zero. So you might have a building in your game at zero zero and then be like, where is it? So just open up a base plate and then you can pick whatever you want here for your roads. These are for hanging on traffic lights, as you can see. We got leveled ones, we got angled ones. I can show more of how to use these later in the video. Skip to that if you want. So these ones here, all these edit the same way. So just pick whatever you want. I'm going to pick this model. Control D to duplicate, move it over here. Um, so basically, this would be a road that's going this way. A little crooked to the left there, and then a one that goes this way. We have one that's just a one way. Um, the cars are just going this way, then you don't need this backside here, obviously, because they wouldn't be going this way. Same for the bottom one there. Say if they're just going this way, you wouldn't need this one. Anyways, you kind of get the drift there. So you can really do whatever you want. This is yours, but um, so to edit this, you're gonna need a software for editing like uh, Photoshop, Photopia, Phototopia, uh, which is a free one, Canva, which is a free one. So head over to your software. I'm gonna be using Canva. There's a link there. I'll also leave a link in the description. This one's pretty simple to use and uh, I haven't really had any issues with it. And it's free. So once you're uh, done all the steps for this, it, then you can just go over here to create a design and then go down here to edit photo. And then whatever you named it or left it the same, it should be right here like we did earlier when we downloaded it, saved it. Just click that, open give it a second to load then use in design use in a design and there you go so I'm going to rotate this do not do this because if you rotate this the UV will not work but I'm gonna do this just so you guys can see do not rotate this but you got a, uh, a key here I'll explain this I mean it says it but I'll just help you guys out here front face black this is where this text is right here the right side is yellow you shouldn't need to do worry about any of these the yellow red the blue and the orange you should not have to worry about underside top left right the back and is the green and there you, that's pretty much it but to edit it you got to edit the great boxes cordon, uh, corresponding to the colors you should really only have to use the black one and the green one but mostly you're going to only use the black one depending on if you have a one way or I'll show you. So if you go in here, most of these signs are set up to have one face forward. You're going to want your names here and not back here because that doesn't make any sense because there's another sign here. So if you have one kind of like this one up here where it shows on both sides, then you would need to use the green and the black, but the black one should work. Um, you know, it should only have to use the black one because it's just one side. And that black side is always the front face here. So, with that said, all we really need to do is this one, but I'll also do this one in case you are using one with both sides. I'll show you. It works the same way. I'm going to rotate this back this way. So, you shouldn't have to worry about these. So, you start off with your text. Go over here to text. Um, use this little one here. And then you're going to make sure that's uh, upright like this, and you just want to rotate it here. So that it's just upright this way, along under here. That makes sense. And go ahead and center that. I know it's a little wonky working with it sideways, um, but it should be not too crazy. All right, then go there, edit the text. Uh, I'm going to name it Main Street, just like that one, or just like that. And so what you do from here is you can make it bold, you can make it italicized, you can underline it. I'm just going to leave it like that. Actually, I'll make it bold. 
And then let's make it a lot bigger. So that it's easier to see. I'll show you why later. Maybe we could do it a little bigger. That should be good. So kind of center that there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, that should be good. Um, I'm also going to do it to this sign here. This is the front side. And I'll also give it to the, this is the back side here. So that people on the other side can see if you're using this. Otherwise, don't worry about this if you're just using a front face. And I'll stop rambling. And so once you have your text, uh, I always recommend doing the text first before you make background color, like the green that you got going on here. So once you got that done, go ahead. You can press R, I think, to make one of these, like that. Or you could just go over to Elements and then select a box. And then I'm going to use this color of green. You can see this is the RGB right here. But this is the green I'm going to use. And so you could just go like this to make each of these sides of the UV green. But that's tedious, right? You don't want to do this for every little box. So I recommend once you got your text going, you uh, click on this and then shift click on this and then control C to copy, then backspace to delete. And then just go ahead and just put this green all over everything and then paste. And then it will be in the same spot above that. And then just do the final touches. I'm going to make this white just so it's easier to see. Just like that. And there we go. That's all we really need to do for this one. Um, you, of course, can move this around if you want to see it, what it looks like. But control Z there. Once you're done, just go to share. Then go to download. Oh, first of all, make sure to name your title. I'm just going to name this Main Street UV Mapping. All right, and then go to share, and then go to download. And then download. Wait for that to download. And then what you're going to do is going to make sure that you go to the browser version of Roblox. And you're going to click on this Create tab. Now I know Roblox recently has changed the UI to this like black screen. It used to look a little different, and if it does, then all you got to do is go to the de de the decal and then create decal and put your picture there, which is pretty much the same thing here. It's just a little different. Go to the Developer Items tab. Then you're going to go to Decals, and then you see this Upload Asset. Just click on that, and so uh, this is just the type. You can click here, make sure it's decal. And then upload the image, that one that we UV'd, so the main street UV mapping. Open that, and there it goes there, and you can, uh, can create a name. I would have left it the same. Actually, I'm just going to put it back to what it was, Control z there. Uh, you can put a description, it doesn't really need one. And then once you're done, just click upload. And with that said, we are pretty much done. So all you got to do now is just head over to Roblox Studio and click on the face that you want to edit. So pretty simple. This one you go down to uh oh yeah first of all make sure that you have the explorer open. If you don't have that just go to view uh or toolbox in it and then toolbox and then from here just click on this inventory and my images right here. And it'll show up your images. So here's our UV. Also Another way you could do this is if you go back to the model that you uploaded, it's right here. See this number? Double click that. That is your um, image ID or texture ID. Uh, you could do that or you could just go over here and right click and then copy asset ID. And so all you have to do now is make sure that you have the explorer open. You could do a view and then uh, should be up here explorer. And then you have the properties. So when you have this properties, scroll down here to texture ID, click on this. Make sure that you, uh, let me open this a little more for you guys. Make sure that you don't get rid of this, R I like all this Roblox ID, comma, slash, slash. Don't get rid of that. Just double click on this number, click on this number, double click, backspace, and then paste in your new texture ID. And then it should be there. And there you guys go. That's how you, how you edit the text. It's pretty simple. All right. And I said I was going to show you what these do. So um, if I'm if you have my traffic light 
system. This one, uh, you could use these. Otherwise, they might not really help you. But anyways, they come with it. If you're also if you already have traffic lights, I'm gonna pick two of these that I'm just gonna move over here for uh, demonstration purposes. So I'm gonna get one of these. These are uh, angled ones, so they can rotate to these like angled ones, and then you got the flat ones, which are the right here. I'm gonna grab one of each, and duplicate them over here. So start with the angled one, which is this one, as you can see. You can rotate it, depending on the side you wanna use. For this side, we're just gonna need it the other way. Make sure if you're uh, to follow you, my view V tutorial, cause you're gonna need it on both sides if you're hanging it from a light like this on the UV on one, the front side there. And there you go, it hangs. That one's not really pretty, it looks better on some of the other ones, but anyways, just an example. And then this one, now you can see what those are for.